Well, I started when I was five years old, and I saw this woman crying on the television, and I asked my mamma why she was crying, and then she said everything got taken away, so I went into the bathroom, grabbed everything that you could imagine, that you could need for the um, Chicago tornado, for, for the Kentucky tornado. So I took my money out and there was $50 there. So I took all that stuff, bought stuff for toiletry boxes. Still wasn't that much, so I got some stuff donated from local stores. I got $100 from Walmart and $100 from Kroger's and 200 from Myers. And it kept going on and I started and now here I am at 11 years old and I'm still doing it. Um, I sell many things. Well, I did three to one cakes. I did a lemonade stand. I did hot cocoa and then I did Heart warmers, and I sold lots of different things to do this. We have our own Facebook page, and my grandmother and me, we sell things on there, and we meet up with the person that wants it, and then we give it to them, and then we get the money for it, and then when we have enough money, we go and get the stuff that we need, and then we go do it. I work with at the WWRC, the Wentworth Riding Center, with um, special needs students in the Special Olympics program and Special Riders program. And then I also work at my school with um, cheerleaders when they're called the Sparkle Cats that are also special needs. The Sparkle Cats program is an all-inclusive cheerleading squad that works with students that go to our school who would not normally have a chance to cheer anywhere else. Um, I volunteer with both the Special Riders Program and the Special Olympics Program. Um, the Special Riders Program has um, students who need more help with riding, so they'll have three to four volunteers that help them with balance or control, steering the horse, stuff like that. Um, and then Special Olympics is more just the student and the horse, and they can go to like shows, at our barn or sometimes Kentucky if they qualify in the special needs shows. So they do more of like one-on-one -on -one stuff and we're just there as like a guide if they need help. I think it helps with a lot of things. You know, for some students they're nonverbal or they're deaf and it's a way for them to express their feelings with things. So sometimes like if they're just having a bad day, maybe riding for that hour will just make them feel better about life and how they're doing. So I think it helps them with like their overall being. And being happy.